Tinubu in shock as Bori leads and bad government protests. Says enough is enough. Why will you be shocked? You don't need to be shocked. Why? Because it is still your very own. Your own predecessor, the one that handed over to you that is leading the protest. Yesterday, it was noted that the president of the uh, former president of Nigerian his home was invaded and almost you know set ablaze by the angry protesters so i think this will be one of the reasons for Bwari's involvement and anger to have decided to participate in the uh in the end bad government protests. You no know, go blame him. Even if he's seen in that very scene. Right? It's what's it. Let's quickly just check the content. This is today's news. In Jaws. It was discovered that President Mohamed Ari's aide was seen leading the end bad government protest. In Jos, the former Minister of Youth and Sports Development, Solomon Lalong, and vocal cleric. Prophet Isa El Puba led hundreds of residents in nationwide protests that started on Thursday. The protests that started on Thursday, the protests saw people taken to the streets despite warnings and pleas from the state government and security agencies to stay home. Nigerian News reports that the protesters marched through various streets calling for an end to bad governance and the severe economic hardships facing the country. The demonstrators carried banners and chanted slogans, voicing their frustrations and demands for immediate change. Speaking to journalist Solomon Lalong, who served as minister under the administration of ex-president Mohamed Buhari, emphasized the importance of peaceful protest. He urged security agencies not to intimidate the protesters, reminded them that the constitution guarantees the right to peaceful assembly. The right to peaceful assembly is enshrined in our constitution. Dalong said, security age agencies should not intimidate citizens who are exercising their rights. Prophet Isa El Buba, the convener of the initiatives for a better and brighter Nigerian, was vocal in his criticism of President Bola Tunubu administration. He called on President Tunubu to resign, accusing him of poor governance. President Bola Tunubu must resign. We cannot wait for 2027 to change him. Hunger will not allow us to endure that long, declared El Buba. That's also. You see, I so much like what is happening right now and so much cherished it with lots of concern with a lot of concern that Tunubu is asked to resign is something that should be you know valued it should be valued Tunubu 
as since he assumed office since he assumed office in 2020 uh, in, 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 in this in, in this uh, 2020 in 2023 Tunubu has uh, has been making life very very unbearable for for citizens nothing has ever smiled to the citizens nothing instead the citizens keep experiencing challenges upon challenges pains upon pains tell me when will they now experience anything good at least for once when that's just it so um that is the reason why i coming up i would like to reveal to you what this very truth is actually is that very decision of this is what i think that should have happened if you ask me all right so please don't forget to leave your comment below the comment section Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to, to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.